Michigan has been to the college football playoffs two years in a row, and it truly feels like the Wolverines are building something special in Ann Arbor. With every successful program comes attrition, players leave for the NFL or transfer out, or coaches leave for better jobs, etc. Michigan is losing a lot of talent to the NFL, but they also added a ton of immediate impact players from the transfer portal. Matt Weiss was let go as co-OC, but Sharon Moore remains and will take over sole OC duties. Jesse Minter returns as second year defensive coordinator, and of course Jim Harbaugh is back for his ninth year as Michigan's head coach. There's a lot of continuity from the coaching staff to the starters at key positions, so here are two questions for the 2023 team. Can they be better than last year's team, and do they have a weakness? J.J. McCarthy is going into his second season as Michigan's starting quarterback. Yes, he had two pick sixes in the playoff game against TCU, but we've seen incredible things out of J.J. so far. He's one of the best, if not the best, quarterbacks in the Big Ten. Last year, McCarthy had a 64.6% completion percentage, 2,719 yards passing, 22 touchdowns to only 5 interceptions. He also had 306 yards rushing and 5 rushing touchdowns. If Blake Corum didn't get hurt against Illinois last year, there's a decent chance that he'd have a Heisman in his trophy case. Blake had 1,463 yards rushing on 5.9 yards per carry and 18 rushing touchdowns. When Blake went down, Donovan Edwards stepped up big time. He had 991 yards on 140 attempts, that's 7.1 yards per carry, and 7 rushing touchdowns, along with 200 receiving yards and 2 receiving touchdowns in 2022. This is the best running back duo in college football. You can find both of their names on most of the lists of the top 10 running backs in college. Not only is running back not a weakness for Michigan, it's one of the biggest strengths on the team, arguably the biggest. Michigan's offensive line, another strength, won the Joe Moore Award for the second straight year, but they're losing the Remington Award-winning center, Olu Oluwatimi, and their starting left tackle, Ryan Hayes. But starters Zach Zinter and Trevor Keegan are both coming back, along with tackles Carson Barnhart and Trent A. Jones. Plus, Michigan is adding three very experienced linemen from the portal, Ladarius Henderson, Drake Nugent, and Miles Hinton. The best offensive line in the country should be just as good or maybe even better. Wide receiver is one position that does have some question marks. Veteran leader Ronnie Bell is gone. The leading returning receiver is Cornelius Johnson, who only had 32 catches for 499 yards in 2022, but he did come up big in the Ohio State game. Alongside Johnson will be big play receiver Roman Wilson and also A.J. Henning. There's a lot of excitement around Darius Clemens and Tyler Morris, so hopefully one of them will step up. Amarian Walker is moving to the defensive side of the ball. More on that later. Luke Schoonmaker was Michigan's third leading receiver last season, but he's on to the NFL now. And Eric All transferred to Iowa. But Colson Loveland has shown that he's going to be a special player. Depth at tight end may need to be proven, but talent at the top does not. Special teams could potentially take a step back with Michigan's all-time leading scorer, Jake Moody, and veteran punter, Brad Robbins, both graduating and moving on. Now on to the defense. The biggest changes to the defensive line are the departures of Mike Morris and Mozzie Smith. That's a lot of talent and poundage to replace. As far as pass rushing, Michigan returns Braden McGregor, Jalen Harrell, and rising star Derek Moore, and they add Josiah Stewart from Coastal Carolina via the transfer portal. In the middle, Chris Jenkins and Mason Graham return. Graham showed tons of promise as a true freshman. Kenneth Grant and Rayshon Benny will also get a lot of snaps. Linebacker should be a position of strength for the Wolverines. Michael Barrett announced his return, so there's officially no attrition at linebacker. Quite the opposite, actually. Tackling machine Junior Colson will be back at middle linebacker, and the number two player from the transfer portal, Ernest Hausman, will man the other linebacker spot. The Kai Hill Green, who missed all of last season, returns, and big things are also expected out of Jimmy Rolder. At cornerback, the loss of DJ Turner might sting just a little bit. He ran the fastest 40 at the combine, by the way. But Will Johnson has one side of the field locked down. His talent was on full display last season, and he has a chance to be one of the best DBs in college football this year. I mentioned earlier that Amorian Walker was moving to DB. There's a good chance that he'll be starting opposite of Johnson. Coach Harbaugh said, I consider him a starter right now, based on the first two practices. Walker is 6'4", 175, and has great speed. 
Other options at cornerback include Jaden McBurrows, German Green, Miles Pollard, and Jair Hill. At safety, Michigan returns Rod Moore, Makari Page, and RJ Moten. That's a strong group. Looking at Michigan's roster, I don't see a glaring weakness. There are some position groups that will have to prove themselves, definitely, but I saw enough promise from the young guys last year. Combine that with the influx of portal additions, and I think Michigan can be even better than they were in 2022. Go Blue!